Gosh, did they give you so much ice at Taco Bell? Jesus Christ, it's half halfway up. Oh, dude, that's that's still less than Wendy's. I haven't had a Wendy's in a long ass time. They fucking Wendy's fill it up all... actually to the top, and I'm just like, okay, that's a scam. Yeah, it really is. Big time scam. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm an ice enjoyer, but that's yeah. Too much I mean, hey, I I am mad about it. <clears throat> People who ask for no ice um, are wrong because that means they can't chew on it and crunch on it ice like I like to do. Are you an ice chewer? I love uh, I love I chewing ice. Ice, ice Me too. Chewer. When I had braces, I was an ice chewer. Mm. Hmm. That's probably the only time I wasn't an ice chewer. It felt like dangerous. I was going to break them. Yeah, that feels dangerous. Yeah, they, they told yeah. me not to, but I... Yeah, they, I think they told I, you not to specifically. Don't chew ice. They told me not ice. to do that, but I never, nothing ever happened. <laughs> but it felt good. Luckily. Hey, anyways, uh, this is Lore Her Episode 32. I kind of like that, like, casual open. Do you guys mind that? <laughs> Fine by me. Okay, let's just do it then. Might have to fade into clap? it. <laughs> Yeah, did nope. I don't know. It, no, we didn't. I don't know. We, we, we could clap right now, guys. Okay, three, two, one, clap. Okay, Perfect. now we're synced up. Uh, this, is the, this is the episode, guys. Episode, thir- episode 32. Uh, you might notice that JP is uh, on location. Uh, he's in Egypt right now. No, no, legends and, uh, he, say that he might be in Egypt still. Legends say that, and legends say Maybe. that he, he, he may have contracted the Pharaoh's curse. Oh, no. Uh, wow, pe- wow, people are saying, wow. because look at him. He's fucking around with, with, uh, with uh, some ancient uh, wow, 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 wow. mummies. Whatever they put in there, I don't know. They put mummies in the, in pyramids. JP, get a comment. Uh, yeah, we should just get he next time that he's on, he should do the cinnamon challenge, and so he does like a little cough. And like, <laughs> cough <out> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I got I got the spirit out of me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this week there there will be uh, an on site JP. He'll be he'll be popping in here and there to to share his uh, his wisdom on certain yeah. topics. Uh, he's yep. been fairly quiet in our pre show discussion, so we'll see if he chimes in at all. Uh, later in the show, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's a new week. What what's going on, fellas? Anything, anything cool happened this week? I've uh, been neck deep in Fortnite festival like usual. That's about it for me. I mean, like straight up, finished the full game, full combo, which I feel great about. Huge full game, full combo, that, full combo yeah, on no, both have, lead and base. Bro. Yeah, yeah, no, that's huge. You're the second person to ever do that. I haven't Feels even touched good. any base tracks except for like. Like one or two base tracks or something like that. Who's the first person to do it? Was, was it Body? Did Body face Body? Did both. Yeah. Body did both. Yep. It was okay. Body. I, Shout out to Body on I that. I think you're probably, yeah, Jason, as of right now, as of we're recording, you're probably still ahead of me. You probably have seen the Billie Eilish tracks that dropped yesterday, right? Yeah. Um, so I didn't even do those. I haven't even loaded up the game yet, or I didn't I didn't oh. connect my guitar yet, so I haven't even done I haven't that. played them either. Okay, mm-hmm. so real, just. I got to be honest, this is something I'm so passionate about. The idea that games like this are amazing for music appreciation, right? I've talked about this before. I have never been into Billie Eilish. I just haven't. Mm -hmm. I've never listened to her aside from Bad Guy. I thought all of her music was that low mumbly like, right? No, Chihiro, that new song. I can't stop listening to it. It's so good. Her voice is on point. Thank you, Festival, for introducing me to it. Great addition. I love it. Uh, that was that right there has been a moment for me of, okay, yeah, this game just introduced me to something I effing yeah. love. So good. You know what that I good pivot off of that, man, because you know, one thing that got a lot of lifelong fans from Rock Band DLC was Avenge Sevenfold. Sure. And Truth. A- everything from like the Rock Band One packs, you know, them being uh, on disc in Rock Band Two, all the DLC that they released throughout Rock Band Two and Three DLC. Up until now, up until the announcement, like this uh, last Tuesday, last yeah. Tuesday was uh, it, w- it was a surprise to us because we we <laughs> had been just convinced that hey, OM Shadows, hey, you know what? He doesn't fuck with Festival. Oh, uh, well, that's the L we got to take. No, nope. yeah, it seems like he Showed actively up. didn't want to be in the game. <laughs> it's kind yeah, of how, how, how it sounded. And then after his yeah. little his little thing kind of went viral in our and you know our little in our circles that we run in. Yeah. Little circles were just kind of being vocal about it and be like, man, what a loss, what a loss. Event Sevenfold seems that Festival has reached out and they're now have literally done a 180. Yes. And there's that picture that Jason sent that was a, a, a message from M Shadows in the Event Sevenfold Discord, I think. It was, and, yeah. Yeah, and it was like, yeah, we weren't, as of my message in January, we we were not asked, but now we're pumped. And it was a little handshake emote. So it's got to be more than so just. They're on good terms now. It's fine. Seems like they're on good care. terms. But there's got to be more. I think if anybody knows. Hey, here's what it is. Straight up. I know 100% this has got to be it. And 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 maybe I'm being a little uh, hyperbolic there. I don't know for sure. But uh, here's the plan they had originally, right? They were like, hey, if we could ever do our own thing with UEFN, 
then we'll do it, right? And the mm. thing is that they've already said on the festival and harmonic side that this is all planned for the future where you can use the music in UEFN. I'm assuming somebody reached out and goes, hey, guys, these are the plans for the future. We'd love to have you a part of it so that you can use this music in there when it drops. That's my guess is they just went through, said, hey, no, this is our plans. We'd love to have you as part of it if you want to. And the band went, oh, we didn't realize and said yes. Who knows I think if that's actually it. it but, I but, think you nailed it, honestly. I think you nailed it. That, that, sounds, that sounds like the most, that seems Occam's razor to me. That seems like right? the most likely thing that could have happened, the, the conversation between the two. Yeah, because yeah, they're so interested in UEFN in the first place. Mm -hmm. And we already know festivals adding that in the future where people will be able to create their own stuff with it. It's two plus two to me. Yeah, and Fortnite definitely wants to uh, kind of push UEFN as much as they can to encourage right. to encourage more people to create on it, to you to play the maps and all that. So if they already have a party that's super interested in creating UEFN stuff, and they just happen to be a music artist that would fit perfectly into their music game mode, it's like, well, let's just work together. We can we can work yeah. this out. It'll all work to get. We'll all work together. We'll be happy. You know, we'll, we'll put official music, licensed music, into your own UF, UEFN maps, and it'd be fine. It'd be good for everybody and streaming numbers. True. Yeah, I think like when their uh, "Life Is But a Dream" album came out, they had like a single playing on that in their event sevenfold hub. At some point, I don't didn't, remember. Uh, I didn't check it. I didn't go there, but apparently that's what it was. Is they made an announcement that went like, "Oh, you can go to our social hub right now where you can listen to our single and stuff." It's like, "Oh, why don't you just side, do it on side Spotify note on or, that?" Or uh, didn't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, didn't Fantano give that worst album of the year last year? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? life is but a dream, really? No yeah. way! I got really the worst up. album of the year. I, I, I worst album of the year. Yeah, one of them, or actually worst the worst album. album of I, the year. I'm pretty sure he put it at number one on his list. Oh, I want right. to say I got, the, I got the video up. Let's take, let's go through. It. Let's take a look. I want to say I'm not 100 percent on that. Awkward it is memory. one of them in the description for damn sure. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, I'm just scrolling through. This is bad content, but we're just going to continue scrolling through. Hey, number no, one, no, it no. looks like it is. You're right. Uh, the the worst one is is Event Sevenfold. Uh, here, I'll, I'll, I'll give you guys links. So you can check. Damn. Yeah, it is. It, if you look in the timeline, it's the most replayed part. That's that's a that's a bad look for uh, for A7X on the on the Fantano side of things. But uh, whatever. Oh. I listen to I listened to that Nobody track. It wasn't that bad. I didn't mind it. Yeah, I mean, okay. That's the only one I've heard. I, I didn't I listen to the I album. Made it halfway fair. through the album before I was like, I don't know if this is for me. But I wasn't, like, one of the people that was like, oh, man, this shit fucking sucks. Because, like, you think about it this way, people who were calling, like, uh, people were calling Avenged Sevenfold, like, a modern Metallica type for a very long time. <laughs> that's really high. That's, that's a high bar to reach. I know it's a high bar to reach. But then if you put, you know, if people were setting that narrative, at least Avenged Sevenfold did something completely different than Play It Safe. Hey, I, I you know, will never hate on somebody for trying new things, right? Absolutely. And I hey, heard Metallica Game Over, and Metallica I was like, what the many fuck am I listening well. to? Yeah. I, I heard that first track, and I'm like, what the fuck am I listening to? Y'all ever heard Lulu? the rest of it kind of like picked up a bit, and I was like, eh. Y'all like Saint Lulu? Anger? <laughs> Saint Anger? And Metallica Anger? tried things, too, and it just turned out to not work out, so hey, maybe they are the next Metallica. Yeah, maybe. They're following the same maybe. footsteps. How, how long have they been a band, Event Sevenfold? It's 20 years plus at this point, right? Long. Like, yeah, early, early 2000s? Like early when, 2000s. when did... Um, when did City of Evil come out? Was that 2006? 2005? No, wait, uh, it's not waking, or Sounding the Seventh Trumpet. I that's that's their first album? That's 2004, first 2005, album. wasn't it? Holy shit, Seventh. City of Evil is their third album. Seventh Trumpet yeah. is 2001, bro. Holy fuck. Pre Seventh, Seventh Trumpet was 2001? Pre-9-11. April 2001, for that matter. Early 2001. Yeah. This shit was probably recorded oh. and wrote, written in the, like the nine, late 90s and 2000s. Late 90s, early 2000s. That's a Damn. long time ago. I don't think when I've I th heard a single song off of this album. Really? It's it's aggressive. It's You wouldn't even recognize M. Shadow's voice. Uh, I that's remember perhaps Streets. Perhaps that's why. I remember Streets off of that album. I um, When I think early Avenged Sevenfold, I just think of like critical acclaim and like the songs that were everywhere uh, although, although, on like, every sports game. Okay, and that's on the second album here, Waking the Fallen. Waking, Waking the, the Fallen. Fallen is the one that everybody remembers. That's where Unholy that's Confessions. No, Unholy Confessions, song. Chapter 4. Unholy Confessions. Uh, that was, was everywhere. It? Second Heartbeat. Uh, Blind and Chains, that's City of Evil, right? Why did I confuse um, Critical Acclaim with Unholy Confessions? That's what I was thinking of. That's the one. Like, critical every Acclaim is still a good track. But yeah, Unholy like Confessions. Madden. Yeah, Unholy Confessions was in like Madden and shit. Yeah, yeah. everywhere. That's what I was Be trying to think. Beast and the Harlot was in like Burnout and like SSX and shit, you know? And Guitar 2. That of cover, course, yeah, I can tell you 
That cover Wave group. was just all right. <coughs> Love that cover. It's hey, speaking of guitar too, I have a small pivot if, if we if we want to go there. Sure. sure. Yeah, absolutely. I bought a disc. Oh yes. Oh. oh, Jason might not know about this actually. Probably doesn't. Um, I'll get you guys a screenshot real quick. But um, I found this on eBay during my 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 many times a day scrolling through eBay uh, sessions. I do this all the time. I, I swear, probably about six times a day, I just type Guitar Hero into eBay, set this set the filter to all, so there's no categories set, and I just find everything that's been listed to see if it's really cool. I, I came across this. Uh, this is a, an eBay listing for it said the title is Guitar Hero Two Dash PS Two Dash Sony Dash Rare Dash DVD Review Version. So obviously that set off my alarm bells. It's like Ooh, review version. What's this? This is a disc I've never seen before. I've never seen a disc that looked like this. So. I mean, the disc itself it just, it just says, Activision, this CD is not approved for commercial distribution or replication. Do not leave behind. That's and the big the bottom, one right there. The do CD not leave contains behind. materials property Activision, blah, blah, Yeah, do not leave behind. What's that mean? What does do not leave behind mean? Does this mean that this was like at some sort of event That's that, not, that that's they like, brought it to? Yeah, like, a, sense to uh, me. like an E3 or some sort of like early conference, uh, internal that type type deal. Makes sense I don't to know. me. So... Yeah. I mean, this is coming from France, so this is a this is a PAL version of the game, more than likely. So, I, I, I my 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 expectations are at, are through the floor. I don't expect anything from this. I almost fully expect this to be a retail version of the game. But yeah, so almost something I, I like must a, know. Yeah, like what if this is what if this is like just some sort of weird hybrid disc? But also at the same time, you know the the Guitar Hero '80s review discs. That was the the uh, I want the candy photos with the I want candy. Mm-hmm. And that was a review disc. They 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 gave those to magazines. Yep. You know, but also that was at a time where Harmonix and Red Octane just shat that out so that Harmonix could just leave and not be associated yeah. with Guitar Hero anymore. So like it, things were that was that messy. was a weirder time. It was yeah. a weird time because that was also like before before they started doing DLC for Guitar Hero Two on Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, and so that Guitar Hero Two Eighties is kind of like the last expansion pack type full game um that they could really charge full price for i mean like you know world of warcraft was already doing you know full-on releases for you know their expansions back in the day and that was the first time we kind of saw one for this game that was blowing up uh guitar hero just getting this weird ass spinoff um and then charging Mm -hmm. 50 dollars for it in 2007 with 30 songs with 30 songs 50 dollars each one of those songs songs is a premium no guitar with it unless you were from fucking france right yeah, I know. Anywhere, in, anywhere in the PAL region. Anywhere in the PAL region, they they had a Guitar Hero '80s bundle uh, that didn't let that didn't leave the U- EU. Um, so, like, on top of that, so it, it seems like uh, that may have been a fluke or just like some sort of messy altercation that happened. As for this, though, you know, if we apply that same knows? logic, hey man, Guitar Hero Two, they're coming sweet off of Guitar Hero One. You know, like what could be on there? Drums. I mean, the, the Guitar Hero 2 <laughs> demo disc that was in retail stores was a treasure trove. There was a shit ton of yeah. crazy stuff left over on that disc. And they learned their lesson after that, and they, they started scrubbing that shit out before they, they, before they put a disc out to the yeah. public. The Guitar Hero 2 demo disc, if you guys aren't aware, there were, there were many Guitar Hero 2 demo discs. One of them was a, a four-song demo disc that came with like the official PlayStation magazine. That one was cool, too, because that, that's how Love we discovered that... that um, uh, drum gems were a thing that they were planning on making a mm. drum mode at some point. Like that's early, early like rock band prototype stuff. You could probably say that no, was all pre- discovered E3. on the that's OPM pre- stuff. Pre E three Guitar Hero two. Yes, yes, that's probably a super the earliest early public build. build of Guitar Hero two is that OPM demo disc. But mm-hmm. there was another one uh, that was issued out to many, many major retailers: Walmart, Target, GameStop, Best Buy. And if they so wanted to, it would be sold in this demo kit, which Jake has behind him. I'm sure. Um, yeah, it's up there. You guys can't see it. Yeah, it you quick. can't see it. It's not the 360 one, um, but it's it's this one. You know what? Come on. Mm. It's so Here sexy. It is. So cool. Is, this is what this is one of the earliest things that I that I ever purchased in my in my collection. I, I think about oh. this thing probably 2012, 13. Hey, there's the disc Yo! itself. Yo, so I, pay, I paid forty dollars for this, man. That's how important worth. this is. It's worth. so worth it, it for forty dollars. Like, it's Cute. culturally significant. Not even just because because so, everything that's on that disc is out there public. You don't have to buy this fucking disc, but it's cool. To I, have. Like, I, I like talking about this over and over because it, it never gets old. Um, this demo yeah, disc had like what fucking 
10 songs there was, on there's 10 songs in there officially that you could actually play 10 official just through, through normal it. normal uh just plug was put it in a disc into a playstation was it was it fine. everything that's back here yeah was it everything that's it's that's back there okay well so, list it off i couldn't read it um so it's you really got me strutter war pig psycho billy freak out yyz john the fisherman shout out the devil madhouse who was in my room last night tripping on a hole in a paper heart that's Does accurate that sound like all 10 that were on there that's accurate it's a all good right. set list for a so, demo disc so to anybody who just had this, that's what you could see off the rip. But, but there are 21 songs hidden. 21 Woo! songs hidden. 21. This is basically a beta build of the game that was released wow. to the public. But they never expected people to, or, you know, they left this unfinished build inside of the disc. And you could just go in using, a lot of people use G-Hex back in the day. Yeah, back in the support. day. Ooh, those early tools. Yeah, GH Explorer, which for some reason people still fucking use to this day, because I guess they don't realize Onyx exists. Hey, but, old habits. You know, that's hard. fine. That's fine. Whatever. Um, but there was early versions of Freebird, Killing in the Name, Jessica, uh, uh, an uncensored um, uh, uncen- laid to rest, uncensored laid to rest, which got them in trouble, I believe. I, I don't know. It's got I don't it in know. The that's, a, that's a yeah, but it's in the files. So like you know, in, in late yeah, yeah, yeah. So who gives a fuck? So yeah, that's where that bridge. audio comes from. I've heard the. Say who gives a blah? Where... He says yeah. He blah. just says blah. It's, blah. I think it starts with an F. It's almost like a flarg or something. Flarg. Like that. Say who gives a blah? <laughs> They sound he like the fucking. Flaw? They sound like the Renaissance kind of. men. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who are the Renaissance men? <laughs> who are the Renaissance men? Who, who are? I don't, they? I don't know. I'm just. I'm, I'm telling you I'm everything just, I just I'm read here. Telling you everything I know. They're coming I just later. watched that the know, other man. day. <laughs> Were you watching the YouTube live stream of Smiling yes, Friends? Yes, I was. Yeah. I was. I've, I've been just watching. I've been just watching too. the Smiling Friends because I'm prepping like for tonight, episodes, man. Like the first episode. I'm prepping for then, tonight for the new episode. I'm excited. Yeah, true. Yeah, we're recording this on Sunday. I caught it. I caught up. Um, sorry. Every, every Sunday night, friends, new smiling yeah. friends. Go watch it. It's a pretty good show. Yeah, I like it a lot. Watch it. Good. But what do you yeah. think? What do you think of the, the the new one that was last week? The 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 president. The president one. I was one. a huge fan. Not a, I, I liked it. I me. thought I thought that shit was just so stupid. And it was just yeah. It was just really stupid. It was just Why a, did I expect like, you to ask JP there? I was like I was expecting <laughs> hey, JP. What you, <laughs> hey, yeah, JP. What do what do you I think? Could. I'm sure, did you like it? Sure he's watching. Did you like it? The just the fact that it's like oh that. Oh, that's insightful. Thank you. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I hadn't considered oh. that before, but now that you say it, you're right. You're totally right. Legend, you nailed it legends there. say that JP might still be in Egypt. Legends He's cleansing himself of the curse. <laughs> um, but yeah, World no. Travel. Like on top of that, like there's so much unreleased shit in here. Even a song that didn't even make it until Guitar Hero Rocks the '80s. Metal Health, uh, a early cut. Oh, of Bang Your Metal Head. Health. Yeah, by Metal Where Health came from. with the solo. That they that was mysteriously cut out of Guitar Hero Rocks the eighties, um, is this actually goes hard in too. this version of Guitar Hero two, and it's actually a pretty tough solo for Guitar it Hero is. two. This is the first fucking song in in eighties too, by the way. It, it, if this solo was still in there, it would not be the first song. This would be I like a fifth tier type type beat. Yeah. So I I don't know the um, the reasoning behind this. Oh yeah, fun fact: if you look at Jake's video, there's a split down the middle of the screen. That's what happens in this demo if you turn on fucking progressive scan. Um, that only happens if you turn on progressive scan in the demo. <laughs> oh yeah, There's a yeah, you can see like above, above middle. where the yellows come in. Yeah, something yeah. is wrong. Something's wrong with like the shader or like the rendering at the top of the board. It's um, a prototype. These things happen. Yeah, it's a prototype. It's happened. No, it's a beta. Yeah, you know yeah, what beta. I mean. Oh yeah, I forgot. Proto- beta, Dude, the lighting in this whatever. game is so scuffed. That's GH1 Izzy. And yeah, that's I'm the, using the unfinished character model of Izzy. It's just a the white texture. And the singer is still wearing the, the tank top the white from GH1. GH1 that's still singer. still GH1 tank top. Yeah. And actually, Even, is that the Guitar Hero 1 uh, bassist? Doesn't he wear a different shirt in GH2? Uh, right. No, yeah, he wears a different shirt, shirt in 1. No, in, in 1 he wears like the, the gray shirt. I oh, no, yeah, that's the that's uh, the GH2. Yeah. It yeah. looks so Ruffy. janky. They it still feels managed janky. to get uh, depth of field in this, you know, this early-ass mm-hmm. build. But yeah, this is still mm-hmm. like after E3, but the engine is still a little bit weird in this game. Mm-hmm. Uh, the timing window for the hammer-ons are actually, it's actually pretty damn small compared mm. to retail. Is it? I thought it felt I, I believe so. I think Scott did some research a couple of years ago, like way long time ago about this demo. I'll trust disc. Scott on this. He knows yeah. more than me. I, I think I think it was just some like weird hybrid in between Guitar Hero 1 and 2. Um, 
still working out the kinks. Yeah, still you know, definitely working out the kinks. Just one you more saying thing. That? Oh, go Sorry, ahead. Sorry, one one more thing. Uh, there's a calibration that you could calibrate in this demo because it's when HDTV started circulating, but there's no way to do it like you know you sh- strum to the beat. This is before that. It's a fucking slider. You, oh you, yeah, it's just yeah, it's, it's just there. Oh. It's just there. <laughs> Sorry, Watching this go clip, ahead. you good. Watching this clip and hearing you talk about, you know, the engine in this, over and over I find myself coming back to the more games we have in this genre, I wish that we would have had the forethought to have some sort of way to visually show how hard the engine is that you're playing, regardless of the right. game. Right. Because every single game, regardless of how they look, plays different. And oh, I know we still have that engine episode to do in the future, but man, the more games we have, the more convoluted and confusing it is for anybody who's outside the community to understand the difficulty. Yeah, and even if you are fairly well versed in playing these games, I feel like it's it'll be kind of hard to to conceptualize and understand how every game differs from each other. You have to yep. re- re- reach like a really high level of play, like a really like brain rot type of, I love this game. It's yeah. my life. It's my entire identity type. And, and that's to, to, why to it's so, that's so it. hard to articulate, man. It's, it, it is. is the yeah. toughest thing to articulate. It's like been the biggest battle, like for me to explain that type of stuff over and over again, yes. or just to be like, Hey, let's make a video about it. But how do I make a video about this? How do I yeah. how do I really have the vision for this? And so it's like an idea. Yeah. This is for Janak and Janak alone, and anybody else on Milo Hacks for that matter. What if you know a clone hero? You can see the hit window. You know you can just you can toggle that little thing on, and it shows you like how big the hit window is in comparison to your notes and, uh, and all that stuff. What if big if? What if you could do that exact same thing for like Rock Band Three Deluxe, but it was dynamic? It would change with how, how short the, the timing window was. Is there some sort of value stored in the in the code anywhere that like that would dynamically change to say, oh, there's this many milliseconds between this note and this note, so that therefore you can hit it within this window? If there is, you can make this I into mean, a thing. That's Simulate why debug, in, like, in debug in debug, uh, it'll tell you like all the timings, like how many, like in the sorry, let me let me backtrack a little bit. When the Rock Band two debug uh, initially got released to us when you turn on the debug like all the timings and stuff it shows the judgments so it's like okay here mm, true yeah so here this is like a perfect hit plus zero point however milliseconds or whatever it's stuff like it's like info like that um i know that yarg has a precision engine that actually shrinks and, yarg. and but does it visually show you it does the shrinking. it fucking oh, yeah. does oh, there you go it's it doesn't so have to be cool. done it doesn't even yeah, have to be done. Yarg already did it. Perfect. Yeah, Yarg Yarg has done it. I have no idea if it's perfect, but it sure sure as fuck feels like Rock Band Three. I definitely miss when I am not supposed to. That, <laughs> that Rock Band Three does that shit too. You know what would be really you know fun I mean? if if Yarg could do presets for different game engines. So that people mm-hmm. could literally jump between them. Because you can yeah. change the engine in Yarg. No, no, they they, they they do. They have the default, they have Guitar Hero Three, and then they have Rock Band. Like, that's it. I mean, it's not like that in the game, but it's basically loose Guitar Hero 2, Rock Band casual 3, precision. And, then, and then casual. Yeah. Casual but if they had even more, like, like even if it wasn't built into the game, but if someone went through and made presets that other people could download in the future, hey, yeah, you, you want to try, can import, you, can import you know, yep. GH1 engine settings, GH, oh, like... That way, people that, could experience it in a different setting. You know, you know, I I don't know if Guitar Hero One can be made in Yarg. I've I've tried. It would, it would, that would have to be very custom. That would have to That's be like extremely custom. Would. custom very, but yeah, like yeah. It, with all the uh, engine customization that you can do in Yarg right now, um, I don't think you can make Guitar Hero One. The That's hammer like, on problem. Yeah, you can't like. That's unique. That's very unique. That's very very because like. Rock, Guitar Hero One's hopos basically only work if you're already holding down another button, right? And then like you have to add it on, you have to layer it and stuff. So that's a whole different type of logic. Yeah. So to... for anybody that is completely unaware, like say you have a, a green strum and then you have like a red yellow hopo right after. So did it? You have to keep holding down the green to hit the red yellow. Because if you just go green and then let go, like what Jace is doing, if you let go of the green before you hit that red hammer on, it just ain't gonna hit. Nope. You got to keep holding down that green. That's bad. Yeah. So you, you have actually to be, have to hold it. So it basically, mm-hmm. like, it truly kind of works like a real guitar, I guess. Yeah. 
You have to continue Even though, like, string to hammer that's it on. not very accurate either because you can just kind of freely do this on a real guitar also, you know? Um, it's not good practice, but, I would imagine. Might get some no, open string no. sound, things like that. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, it's very right. your decision. Yeah. So, like, I, I guess they – this was still, like, the testing grounds to see if a game like this would even work. So they just had hammer-ons and pull-offs in Guitar Hero 1, and it they barely worked. But people have managed to get them to work. In fact, there's a handful of FCs out there of Bark at the Moon, the hardest song in the game, supposedly. Uh, people are tapping that solo. They tapped that shit oh, yeah. on GH1. It's, it's just, bonkers. I feel like I just saw a video of this last night on Twitter. Mirage Luna. Uh, That's who it was? Yes. Oh, oh, that's, like, oh, that's fucking sick. That's I think sick. that was on emulation. I, I have never been able to get good at tapping the bark. The first solo. person I, I, I think I struggle. saw do that was Marbler. And then Marbler, Steph, yeah, back in the day. Steph mm-hmm. and King Inferno, um, those two have Classic. done it as well. Um, I'm trying to think who else got Bark at the Moon tapping. I, they're coming up blank, but I know someone else did the tapping FC of that song. Uh, yeah, that's Randy like kind just, of a, that's kind of just like the method nowadays. I feel like a lot of people like go go towards the tapping just to see if it works, and they're like oh, it actually works. Not, not for me though, but I feel like nah, many people nowadays me. like will will gravitate towards that just because that's not. I mean, that is how people play the game now. I mean, I mean, strumming I, things I is very second second nature. I think it's still fucking impressive that. You know, without modifying the game whatsoever, you're using the game's mechanics. Guitar Hero One hopos, right there. You're tapping in there. You get you gain that confidence to do that. So therefore, that's now a skill in your fucking set of skill. As yeah, a player. and mind you, you still have to anchor pretty much everything when you're doing this shit. Yeah. Now, if, if going through the solo, you kind of have to like, and you gotta have to like go into it like holding red already and just kind of do like. You always have to hold red. It's you weird. just kind of the... stumbled on something, Jake. You just, like, straight up. I think that you just stumbled on something. Like, you're like, hey, man, everything's tapping, right? The, I mean, in the casual community, like, if people are just watching these games, they don't necessarily play them. What's everybody want to see? It's tapping, right? Fast and things. Fast, fast tap, tap, tap. Um, There's so much confusion over pro mode in festival right now, even, because people don't understand strumming because they only mm-hmm. see tapping in, like, mm-hmm. the clone hero side. Uh, not even just not even so much that, but also like, you know, festival started off as tapping only. Too. Yes, and so it's exactly. like you, inter- you introduce the five colors, and it's like okay, and now people people are are starting to use the terminology more. It's like okay, are strikes in pro mode? Strikes are just strums now. That's strikes that's are just what over it strumming. Is. It's just over strumming. So it's a, yeah. a mixture of tapping and doing another input at the same time. So, and people are confused as hell about the strumming, especially considering all the top play they see is people going. Yeah. It's right? like, well, like, why do you have to? Why do you have to hit the little clicker bar down what, there? I well, don't what, get that. This doesn't and, matter. We don't need that. You you got to do the fun stuff. And it, well, partially because okay. like it feel, I'm gonna go on a quick tangent. No, yeah, no, that's fine. It, that's fine. Go, go it feels it. like pro mode is like the love letter to us. To the old yes. school, the old heads, to bring people into Fortnite Festival in the first Agreed. place. But uh, the, the people who are confused about strumming and all that stuff are Fortnite people who are getting into our little community through Festival. So For the it's, first time. It's, a, it's, a, it's a mishmashing of two different groups of people, and we all need to somehow reach to the same... we have, we got to get on the same page somehow. We all Amen. need to get to this, this, the same sort of... the same knowledge set, uh, which is hard to do given there's not really like a proper tutorial or any like sort of way to explain mm-hmm. how, the, how the game works. You kind of just yeah. are expected to know how Pro Mode works going into it, like... You already have to understand. To have already... You have to buy a guitar. One, so yeah. one hundred thirty dollars down the drain for, yeah, for their. Jake, they should r- just quick, hire but... you to do like the tutorial, like the voiceover <laughs> tutorial. And I'll do it. Stuff. I can make and a few then... tutorials for free just oh, to yeah, give you a, just... a good idea of what I can do. Stand up tutorial stand stage. Up, yes. And then mirror mirror the look of the guitar, right? And you're holding it like this on the screen. It's like <laughs> here's True. your strum bar. Here are your frets. Why did I think that you were just doing the the freaking like I swore Got him <laughs> I got him You look Got him <laughs> <laughs> I could throw that in to the video. Got him. This, is, this is this is typically how you hold the strum bar. Got him <laughs> Got him <laughs> You pinch it, it's just like this. Yeah, um yeah, yeah, it's it's a weird uh, it's a weird mishmashing of people and communities, and we have to all somehow get on the same page with what strumming is. We have to make sure that everybody knows what strumming is. We have to make sure that people understand that the colorful notes aren't just a, a, a toggleable option. It is a, a separate mode entirely. It well, is why a way to, to, to distinguish between regular and pro. 
uh, also me, another a legitimate also question. Another, bring like, it, bring it there. Be cool. But is that you know, rock band <laughs> harmonics developed rock band, so that means one thing or two things actually. There were no tap notes. There were no open notes. When people played Clone Hero for a very long time, it's been seven years since we all moved over to Clone Hero, essentially. Like, Oof. around this time is when we first started catching wind. Around this time, seven years ago, is when we first started catching wind of Clone Hero. And that's when Jason started moving over. It was this su- the summer of 2017. And then, like, everybody oh moved over God. in, like, August. Everybody moved over in, like, August. Um, but at that point, you know, people were getting adjusted, understanding open notes, tap notes. None of that shit ever existed in Rock Band. It's not going to exist. Or maybe not. Maybe they will exist in Fortnite Festival. I don't know. Seems we don't unlikely. know anything. No, no, none of the charts have it yet. Yeah. August yeah. 29th, 2017. August, August 29th. 29th. Yeah. That was the first video. Uh, so I had streamed it a Damn. few days before that, probably. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So in a couple Going months, on seven, be seven Very years. close. But Close I remember, I remember it was like the summer about. of 2017 that um, you know Clone Hero was picking up. It was on like V V12 or V11, and yeah. I was like, "Oh shit, this is looking really good." And which version like, was it that had the Hopo thing that you could just hold down the Hopos and it would like auto strike? That was, was that like V13. 17? That was 13. That, that was V13. V13. Okay, then, that's when I got uh, introduced to the game. You could call it. I was like, "That seems yeah. fun. I want to try and that." I think I'm gonna modifiers weren't a th- modifiers were not a thing until like that build, maybe a little oh, bit earlier. Man. Yeah, I don't Hopo's know. Only Sorry, like, like, hold down wrong, the note bro. for strumming, and then oh, I just flicked you off. Sorry. Bitch, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's the new instead of pointing, bitch. It's like bitch. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, I think like it's been seven years since we started working on the Warriors of Rock Guitar Hero Three mod, mm, uh, mod, which got fucking overshadowed in like a month. You know, yeah. like we 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 busted our ass. <laughs> you know, was... everybody everybody involved there. Matt was actually part of that because uh, he ripped the he ripped the Warriors MD of Rock Sitton? textures. Yeah. He ripped the rock. Ba- he ripped the Guitar Hero Three textures, or no, Warriors of Rock textures, and was like, "Here you go. You can have. You can have some of the stuff." Uh, and then, like, Srylan was using like some different ones, and then eventually, it was using that uh, uh, the stuff that Matt ripped. I don't know. It's been a long time, but Matt was definitely part of uh, that Warriors of Rock mod. Which, man, shout out to the Spicy Zone Squad. It's been a minute. Oh, I don't even wow! Know, I don't even know if y'all listen listen to this pod, but I hope y'all are doing well. What were uh, zones? What is yeah, zones? What, yeah, what, what were zones, man? Yeah, I that that that's where they put like all of the three D stages, all the models and stuff, all the textures were just within these little things called pack files, and uh, the game would just read them and then put them where they needed to be. But as for just the look of the game, you know, the green, red, yellow, blue, the notes, the the anything that was in the game. It was within something called the QB pack um, uh, file. QB.pack underscore Zen or some shit. Yeah, there were some Zens in there too, XENs. And then so the the like the green, red, yellow, blue notes, those were just static images. Those were not 3D models whatsoever. They're they were just, just sprites. really, really good looking sprites. They're extremely good looking sprites. And so, you know, the custom community, you know, the create uh, all of us that were creative that wanted to make like cool stuff, we would recolor them, we would make them it look like Guitar Hero 2, we would make it look like Rock Band. Some some of us went out of our way to make it look like Guitar Hero Live for some reason. Um, <laughs> Ugh, t- people even did this on PS2. Only real ones also. know the PS2 Guitar Hero people Live. People did this Ooh. on PS2, and I don't even know how <laughs> texture replacing worked on PS2. I only remember it working on PC. But uh, yeah, that that was a big like point of interest for a lot of people is just being able to modify those uh, images, and then some people would go as far as replacing um, like a certain image on the board in order for it to fake a custom background, all of what we would see in Clone Hero. Like we have like our custom video backgrounds, our custom GIF backgrounds, or something image backgrounds. You couldn't do that in Guitar Hero 3. So what they would do is that they would take the score image, the the you know the little amp with the with the little score, and they would expand that out to color the back of the like the rest of the fucking screen. That's it was how they insane. did that. Yeah. There are That's some hilarious. videos out there of That's some people, so wild. people doing that. <laughs> and the problem with that was is that if you did that, then all the songs in your game uh would potentially get removed. 
because <laughs> you modified the code in a way so that the the score like HUD would stay there or be in a specific corner. And then if you modified any of your songs, it'd be like, hey, you know what? You modified something. We're cl- we're clearing your install of the game. Fuck oh, you, Max no. Killer. So it was a che- it was like some sort of a checksum. If you modified anything in the game that was running GH3 control panel, GH3 control panel would get mad and delete everything. That's so weird. It almost sounds like anti-piracy measures. That's so On a weird. fucking custom song injector. Yeah. Something that in that's something that needed you to pirate a song <laughs> and, yeah. and put it in the game. So interesting. Yeah. It is very interesting, and that checksum was not cracked until Exile Lord himself took it out of GHTCP because it was open source. Uh, and it ended up being open source, I don't know when, I think after like the last release in like 2008, 2009. Um, but then, I don't know if it was Exile Lord. It was either Exile Lord or No One Man. Shout out to both those guys. Or be Sizzimer. surprised if it was Sizzimer. Exile. I, it's any one of those three guys because I know there's, there's another version of GH3 control panel that's out that supports like a whole lot of different things. But I remember being there. I was fucking there. And, um, you know, speaking of being there, I'm going to pivot off of this. Guitar Hero 3 Customs. We were talking about this in Jake's stream yesterday. Talking about Rock I was Band just 3. trying to remember what was going on in my chat. Somebody said you should talk about this thing. And I was just like, oh, I'm down. Let's talk about this on the pod. Yeah, Rock I, do want, I do want to talk about this because this is such an, a really fun time. So, uh, early 2011. This is... Uh, oh, my God. Oh, we got to go, start way before 2011. We got to talk about fucking RBN Customs, right? Oh, yeah. So, 2008... 2009. So 2009, it was like, it was yeah, 2000, 2009. 2008, 2009. No, t- it was 2009, I think. No. I guess it was called Audition Mode is what it was called. Audition, Audition Mode. mode. There's a, okay, so you may be familiar with something called Rock Band Network. Uh, everybody mm-hmm. listening, you guys here, you guys know what Rock Band Network is. Basically, if you were an independent uh, company or you bought the license to be able to sell shit on the Xbox Marketplace, right? Uh, it was basically a conjunction between Microsoft and Xbox Live Arcade. Indie publishers could go up to Microsoft and be like, hey, I'll buy one of your XNA memberships. Yeah, and XNA that membership. was the ability for basically shrumbled down into one you know, sentence. Hey, I bought the ability to be able to sell my games on Xbox Live. It was basically just that. And so lots of indie companies, lots of game makers got their start on Xbox Live Arcade. So the answer for Xbox Live Arcade and Rock Band DLC was Rock Band Network. Independent charters and music makers, song makers and charters by proxy, um, were also able to get this little tag this little membership this xna membership which what what does that stand for i don't i don't i was trying remember. to look it up i can't find it uh, i couldn't find it real quickly xna but it's something to do with uh oh wait um microsoft xna game studio is a discontinued integrated development environment for building video games on the microsoft xna platform so xna is just a platform apparently yeah xna so um so basically you would get that one hundred dollar a year membership to be part of XNA. Oh and god, then, it's like a DNA thing, isn't it? Yeah, but Xbox. Uh. <laughs> oh god. Hey, hey you sure. know what? Yeah, Xbox there you go. nucleic acid. Good call. <laughs> <laughs> so We're made with of. that, with that, you would actually be able to have the ability to publish, create, and publish your own rock band tracks for uh, a. A specific one dollar, two dollars, or three dollars. The rare uh, three. The rare three. Uh, the su- the songs that were three dollars on Rock Band Network were not worth it. Uh, as far no. as I think, Chris told me that he bought all of the Rock Band Network stuff, and he was like, "Are any of the songs worth two hundred and four? Was it two hundred and forty? It would have been two forty. Yeah, two forty. Is it worth two forty? And he's like, "Nope, absolutely not." <laughs> there were probably only a small handful, like a dozen, that were three three bucks. I can't I can't remember a single one that was three dollars. So, um, so with being able to publish your own music, you couldn't just do it willy nilly like GH Tunes. You couldn't just make something. You couldn't get no. the rights to something, make it, chart it, and then fuck it, full send it. No, they actually had like a play testers forum. For other XNA members that were doing basically Q and A, were they getting paid? I don't know. I have no idea. This is potentially free uh, quality assurance, uh, but 
if someone wants for the to love come of the through, game. Actually, you know what? I forget whatever whatever I just said. I don't want to claim that it was free or not. I don't know if someone wants to come through and say, "Hey, I did play testing for Rock Band Network and I got paid." Please let us know. I Yo, I'd love Trope, to down the show. comments. Let us know the I'm whole serious. process. Woof. I know a couple of I know a couple of people have come through to the Rock Band subreddit and be like, "Hey, I got I got a bunch of like old Rock Band audition files and stuff. How would I be able to play it without X and A?" Um, can you but, still can you still play edition files today without X and A? There surely is a way. Yes, yes, you can. And Rock Band Two Deluxe, you can, I believe. Yeah, okay, that makes Ooh. sense. So, but I, I think you, you have to have a modded Xbox. You can't do it officially anymore. Yeah, so and you have to have a this, certain uh, p- title update because this wasn't in, in the game at launch. This was added later. In, yeah, in, this into was Rock added Band way 2. later into the game. I think this is probably like title update two or three or something. Only like that, an Xbox maybe. 360 PS3 came later. I want to say it was, did it even it come was, on PS3? I don't, no, no, it was never on PS3. So it was all play tested through Xbox, and but it was ported to PS3. It was ported to PS3, and some of them were ported to Wii, too. We had some Rock Band Network. We had we had Rock Band Network on Rock Band Three, I believe. It had Wait, some. Oh, really? It didn't have a lot, but it had some. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, 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 I was never a Wii some. gamer. But they have like very little. They had very very little. Uh, Rock Just Band the best Network, ones. But, but PS Three stuff also got it by proxies. But everything was basically being handled through Xbox. So. And that probably Which was just the case for that for that generation of gaming. Everything was Xbox ported to PS3. Dude, hey, you, you know, know you got to remember that Rock Band Two released on Xbox first, a month earlier. First, than First, a month early, a month early. I got that bitch for my birthday, and I was so hyped. Nice. Yeah, I was on PlayStation Three, so I had to wait. <laughs> man, yeah, no, and I was so hyped because, like, man, this is like this game of the year. This is the game of life. You know, Rock Band Two. <laughs> It was so, Rock Band 1, but better in every single way. Almost exactly like how Guitar Hero 2 was just Guitar Hero 1, but better in every single way. It was a new yeah. fresh coat of paint, better mechanics, and it just worked. I yeah. can't wait for Fortnite Festival 2. Bro, Fortnite Festival 2! Hey, man, if Fortnite Festival is so good, where's Fortnite Festival 2? That's what everybody's been saying. December 2024. I think it's really funny that earlier we were talking about how, oh, look in the Guitar Hero 2 disc. They were There was gyms for drums and things like that. And now, now we're in the position with this new game. We got Fortnite Festival, and there's still stuff in the game that's hinting towards drums that's not there yet, but maybe yeah. in the future. Yeah, <laughs> true. And well, so we, really sorry, we got, we got sidetracked. We got sidetracked. Um, so this Q&A process, uh, it was through something called Audition Mode. Yeah. And yeah. it was a pain in the ass to set up. Absolutely. It was. I set it up. Oh, okay. So you did it too back in the day? Way back in the day, because uh, you I and remember- me really are the same. Holy shit! Okay, <laughs> yeah, um, I, I think there was like a way to get an XNA membership for like cheap for or free. free. My it sister might have been like a hundred eighty day trial or something like that. No, bro, my I, yo, you had to have a family member that was in college. You okay, that's what, that's what it was. They some, got that I used some random dude's year. college email. I didn't have anybody in college at that time, <laughs> so so, so I I just, my... I'm pretty sure I used like some dude's random ass college email. Like some dude was just giving them away. Yeah, probably. Yeah, no, like it was a big mm-hmm. thing on YouTube because like. Everyone was like, oh, you could play customs on Rock Band 2. This is before the Xbox 360 could read USB drives, before they added that functionality. Yes. That, that was added before in a that. title update, if you didn't know. Before then, you could only like transfer shit between hard drives. Well, actually, no, that was, that was later, too, because there was a hard drive to like, transfer utility. Before then, it was Wasn't just fucking a, discs. A memory card? There was a memory card. There was a memory card, but that was like a proprietary you connector. PC, you, could you? Yeah, you couldn't. There was no like no. adapter to hook that up to your PC. So like, no. you could only transfer things between Xboxes via a memory card. Not through a PC, though. You could not interface with your Xbox via a PC without modding it in any way. Yeah. You just brought yeah. back a freaking memory of the Xbox hard drive transfer tool that people would have yeah. to go in and like buy. It was like a $20 piece of equipment yeah. just to be able yep. to save your... Oh, yeah. God, It was like U- yeah. USB to their proprietary hard drive connector. Absolutely. Yeah, so, uh, so you could tra- it was SATA, made so you could transfer it to, SATA the cable. to the Slim. It was just some yeah. like SATA cable, like that. That that was it's literally it. all it was. They just used laptop all hard drives. That's all they used. Mm-hmm. And it's then, just like, a regular two point five uh, inch drive in there. A special and then one. They, they reverse Negative engineered it. People were able to reverse engineer the way that they flash the uh, the hard drives, and then eventually, I was able to get a five hundred gig hard drive in my old Xbox. And it's still yeah, in there they, to this day because the Xbox. Um, Hard drives, there's only like a select few like Western digital drives that the Xbox 360 will natively recognize. You can't just throw in any two and a half inch drive into your Xbox and have it work. You can't do that. There has to be a specific model, but I believe there was a way to like flash the firmware of like an, an acceptable acceptable drive onto a non-acceptable drive and it like mm-hmm. the Xbox would, would think it is the correct drive and it would just work. 
But with RGHs, you can throw anything in there. It just works. They don't care. So mm. I have I have a one terabyte SSD in my fucking. I gotta Xbox. do that. I gotta get that shit. Those uh, one terabyte SSDs are getting cheaper. Cheaper. No, they're cheaper. not. They're getting more expensive. Trust me on this. Are they really? Because I I bought like I bought like twenty five of them way back, like probably last year, around this time last year for RGHing purposes. I bought each of them for thirty bucks a pop. They're like fifty bucks a pop now. I don't know why a one terabyte SSD, set a two and a half inch drive, is like fifty bucks. The same ones that I bought a year ago, they were thirty one dollars. What the fuck? Mm. I don't understand it. I understand Parts? it. It's it's rough. Like, no clue. No guess. clue. I'm guessing mm. something to do with uh, flash storage is getting expensive again. It goes in waves. It, 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 it it, really for whatever reason, silent. every couple of years, like, oh, flash storage is getting really cheap. Don't you buy your RAM now. Buy your fucking uh, SSDs now. And now I guess we're at another expensive part of the cycle. I don't know. But uh, audition mode. transfer utility. I think audition, audition mode. Yeah, we keep can, getting sidetracked. Audi- it's okay. It's all right. No, we're yapping. Yeah, the, the yapcast. It's fine. Yapcast is fun. So it was a pain in the ass to set up. We had to basically... Do you remember exactly what it was, Jake? You had to do some like local network bullshit. I don't remember the exact like process of doing that. I'm pretty sure I watched a tutorial from I want to say a guy named Gears of War Crazy. I think he had a tutorial on how to do this. His name was Zach, M- Mr. Constant Motion Solo D himself. Yeah, yeah, the real, um, the definitely real uh, Constant Motion Solo D S C. Why is the background DLC? moving so fast on on your so Rock fast? Band One uh, practice mode? That's weird. Mine, mine doesn't move that fast. Oh wait, you actually played it at 50 percent speed and sped it up to 100. <laughs> you liar. You cheat, you Ooh. fraud. Hey, you know what? He wrote, that, he, wrote, he wrote that clout for a really, really long time, man. I'm not going to lie. We don't forget. That's, that's some impressive clout uh, <laughs> clout writing right there. Honestly, motherfuckers <laughs> wish they could be Gears of War crazy. I'm being so honest. Dude, dude um, does it still exist? I got to look this up. I don't think his, so. His channel is still there. He posts fucking Counter-Strike clips nowadays. At I mean, Gears so of War crazy. Counter, not, not even kidding. Like fighting him stuff. Um, that's actually yeah, no. crazy. Um... I was gonna say, I was gonna say. So the audition mode setup was terrible, um, and you can only move one song over at a time. It was a terrible. Te- it was terribly slow too. You so, had to go through like Reaper or something, that right? No, it was Magma. Magma. It, so That's what it was. Magma. Magma. So the Magma. reason why it was a program oh. that you ran on your Windows XP computer called Magma, and the reason why it was called Magma is because Magma creates rock. Get it? Oh my fucking god! Are you kidding me? It creates rock. That's why it's called magma. Rock oh band network. I didn't think about that. That's, that's actually that's. that's <laughs> oh my god! Hey, that's sorry. If you brain. you want to groan a little bit more, um, there's actually. <laughs> Man, I don't even know if I should bring this up. I should bring this up because it it was public knowledge. There was a uh, I don't know if it was like a, a behind the scenes of the harmonics like office or something, but uh, the code word. I think this has nothing to do with the video yet. But the code word for Rock Band Network was called Rock Band Nickelback, so that nobody <laughs> could ever yeah. ask them about that. Um, <laughs> I remember and, hearing about Rock Band Nickelback. Yeah, yeah, Rock Band Nickelback was one thing. But they, there was this video, behind-the-scenes video of Harmonix Music Systems. I believe it was Harmonix. And they said there's someone's office cubicle that had a picture hanging up that said, the only N-word... That like it was something like the only N word we can't say or something around here is Nickelback or some I don't know. Interesting. Well, what did you mean by that? Le- yeah, no, it was a bizarre fucking picture. <laughs> I need to find it because the Milo yeah, House guys it. found it. Well, while you look like, for that, are you kidding me? <laughs> while you look for that, I found a, mo- a bizarre picture too. So uh, I, I just I found the the constant motion uh, solo DFCs from uh, Gears War Crazy, and uh, in, in the second link I put in there, I found a comment from a side twenty eight. Uh, calling you out, calling your ass out here. Um, fifteen years ago, you commented GH four is going to kick Rock Band's ass, and then um, apparently seven years ago, you you commented, "Hell yeah, it did." So, are you a liar, or what's going I, on here? I, Didn't you say that I Rock Band two was like best game ever, game of the year? Did I thought Rock, I thought GH four was going to kick its ass? I know, I know, right? What? Hell <laughs> and you confirmed yeah, it seven it years did. ago. You can't move past this, JP. What do you think about this? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh man, JP, you got me there, bro. That's what Wait, I'm what, saying. What, what, okay, glad what he's video on my this side. on? This is on uh, the Gears of War Crazy Constant Motion Solo D 100% FC oh, full speed. Okay, okay, okay. Oh okay, I God. found this. this. The second there you one go. In there. DLC Team doesn't DLC. use the N word, and it's Nickelback with a. <laughs> <laughs> and like the shitty looking, uh, like, the clip art type font. <laughs> that text is so funny. Nickelback. <laughs> this, is at someone's, I... this is at someone's cubicle at Harmonix in 2008. Team DLC doesn't use the N-word, and it's Nickelback. 
I don't even there's nothing I can add to this. <laughs> uh, I, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> it was a different time. It was a different time, guys. 2008. And then, was a Juice, West still. and then Juice by Lizzo got released in 2019. Oh, oh my God. Well, they didn't use Nickelback. However, they, they did put Nickelback <laughs> in the game quite a few times. How many Nickelback songs are there in, in Rock Band? Like five, four? Devil Down to Georgia. How you remind me? Fucking someday. This, this might be I'm a hot take. Know. This uh, might be a hot take. I think that we should see Nickelback in Fortnite Festival. Yes, we actually should. And, and I have, a very spe- I have such a specific Daughtry reason. Do, I, do I leak stank. this or not? Do it. Stank. Give it. Oh, I don't know. Nothing. Nothing cool like that. It, it, I, I have a meme ready to go whenever they add Nickelback, and I, I might as well just put it in here. I, I got to find it real quick. But I have I have a folder on my on my computer uh, entitled Twitter Reactions. It's just a bunch of videos I've downloaded ready to. I feel like to I got to restart whenever, the whenever whole something. Talk. I thought we start the whole talk about Rock Band Customs now. I, we we've, could. We've uh, driven can I find this shit? We've derailed it seven anymore. times. Hey, but oh, no. Here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. GH Live? What was it? Uh, there was a couple of Nickelback songs. There was one that had a really good guitar, so it fit Guitar Hero Live perfectly. Uh, uh, standing on the edge of a revolution. revolution. Yeah. Edge of a revolution. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. That was like, a yeah. like freaking rotation. Oh, yo, this channels. meme's perfect. Yeah, I, whenever they add Nickelback to the festival, I'm posting a tweet with this fucking video, and I, it's going to get 2 billion likes. It's not even a Nickelback song either. That's so funny. It's just Lego Yoda riding a tractor <laughs> with the John Nickelback Deere. song in the background. There's, a, there's an Instagram account called uh, like Lego Yoda Daily, and it's just this video you post every day. <laughs> Lego you, Yoda Daily. You should have just reposted this when Yoda got re-enabled in, uh, in BR. I should have, but the, I, the back I, 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 was, I, was, I was so stuck on Nickelback. It would be so perfect if they add it like next week. So there's actually a Nickelback during this whole Star Wars thing. Yeah. All isn't they're all their socials like de Star Warsified now. They did. They did. Ain't no more Star Wars stuff going on. And Wrecked is about to start. So the new season. And I'm sorry. Be it's actually Yoda Tractor for Daily. that new festival season. Give it. To oh, me. got him. E Wrecked. I need to know. I must know. I'm ready. <clears throat> so. All right, I, I do want to start from the like the beginning, just quick, quick, <laughs> quick. Get, get it out. I'm going to I'm going to I zip know. my lips. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Rock Band Network, in develop like indie developers could buy this membership, and go and publish their own rock band stuff. But it wasn't like GH Tunes where you could just make it, shit something out, and then release it and hope it does well. That that wasn't a thing. So there was this, you know curated quality assurance that you would use um called audition mode and basically you would send it from this really shitty program over really shitty speeds over the, over your local network to your xbox um via something called magma and you would have you to do that sure every that single the, time you loaded the song right every you couldn't single just, like, time you couldn't, you it wasn't stored on the hard it drive or whatever stored, it was stored in the network like as soon as it downloaded to the xbox it stayed there until you left the mode um and so you could play test it. You could enable however many bots. You could ch- you could fuck with the cameras. It was basically like a sandboxed debug mode, uh, so that you can make sure that everything is your vision. Mm. Um, so if you have like camera cuts, lighting effects, the animations on the drummer and the guitarist make sense. The singer is moving their mouth at the right times and doing it properly. Mm. You can make sure that because all that stuff look. is just stored in the MIDI. You can author that yeah. on your own, and, and that's do whatever what's you want genius to look about like. like you know the the whole like um, uh, the whole structure of MIDI and DTA and all the stuff that Harmonix made fifteen years ago. You can do uh, so full, much with it. It's so foolproof, and it's all within the MIDI and a file. Um, that talks to the MIDI too. It's it's cool. It they, they basically wrote their own fucking language to work directly with songs. That's something we haven't seen ever. Like and they DTA, still use it today in festival. We're, the yeah, same shit. They still use DTA and like all these MIDI events and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, the all like you see the rock. You see the charts in festival. It's the exact same stuff that they were doing with Rock Band One two thousand seven. Hell, potentially rock band or you know Guitar Hero too, but the Rock Band games is really where it cemented this whole, you know, this whole structure. Um, but either way, like that's what you did in audition mode. 
a lot of us didn't give a shit about that because we weren't releasing songs. Instead, we wanted to play through the fire and flames in Rock Band Two. We wanted which to you play. Could do. Yeah, which we did. We did that shit. We played a lot of Frets on Fire songs because a lot of those Frets on Fire tracks were already structured to what Rock Band was uh, was looking for. Um, you know, just like that safe MIDI file with all the events, everything there. You just had to convert it a specific way. And we, I did a lot of tinkering and learned a lot in Reaper um, to be able to convert my own songs over to rock band audition mode and that was kind of like the birth of rock band console unmodded console custom songs was the audition mode and we're like man i wish we could have this forever and well eventually we did and some of my first some of my first videos that ever got popular were audition mode customs uh because i they, they were like people converting songs and then not giving out the download link and people were pissed and <laughs> i took it upon myself to be fucking robin hood i guess and then convert a bunch of songs put up a whole drive for it and then just give out the download links for people to uh, to play and to this day i feel like a couple of them are still circulating around uh which is kind of a hero for that by the way yeah thank you you're welcome um and like you know, having all these audition mode songs, you know, they still work to this day. You can actually take these RBAs. That, that's what they're, the files were called. It would just be the name of the song, dot .rba. They, those could be converted into con files for Rock Band 3 or Yarg, or it can be converted to Clone Hero in just a click. Shout out to Onyx for making the greatest program of all time. Onyx um, is good. But, yeah, so that was the beginning. and We thought that's all it was going to be. Uh, fast forward a couple years later, and Xbox enables USB drives to be read on the Xbox. And this is where things got really interesting. So, as as much as you can just, like, move stuff onto your hard drive, uh, like, onto your Xbox hard drive, what about the inverse? What if we took a DLC file, put it on our flash drive, and then plugged it into our PC? Could we read it? Yes, we could. Not using natively. Ex- not natively. Using external programs... Oh, well, I mean, I guess now you can natively do it. Uh, but back in the day, mm, you can... Na- well, because I can plug it into my fucking laptop, and it shows content, and then it shows the title names, and then I can just take shit out. This is from a... Sta- oh, yeah, you can interface well. with it like that. Yeah, you can yeah, interface yeah. with it like, like that. You can't actually like see the details and stuff like that. You can't... No, like, no, 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 like no. You can actually just pull the things off of it. But, so, basically it all started when uh, people were just taking DLC files, putting them on the flash drive, and then reading the files using xbox 360 modding tools uh like actually real quick, I, have, I, have a, I have a small aside i know we said we we're gonna yeah, yeah you're fine you're fine they actually, they actually they actually changed the way that the xbox 360 like writes to the flash drive uh, like the very first time like they added this functionality way back like in like probably 2009 late 2009 like it was still like the um what would they call it the the uh, the new Xbox Experience NXE dashboard. Like, that's the one that was was around when when uh, Guitar World Tour, Rock Band Two came out, all that stuff like that. The way that they wrote the data, it was just like in one gigabyte chunks. Like the the, the like if, if say if it was like an eight gigabyte flash drive you plugged in, the entire all eight gigabytes would be written to. It would just be like data one, data two, data three, data four, and then whatever you put onto that flash drive would just be part of that large data chunk. Like you could not read that, I remember you could not that. see individual like, files on your PC. Yeah. But they changed it later on, yeah, so yeah. now it's just like a, like any other flash drive. You can see every individual file. Right. So that's the aside. Yeah. No. No. So yeah. Basically, with that, you would only open like. I'm sure that that's what it was like back in the day, too, when we were figuring out mm-hmm. customs or when people were figuring out customs. I was kind of tagging along and just doing and doing a lot of experimentation with it. But people would take a Rock Band DLC file and then they would open it in a program like Horizon or Modio or Mario. Uh, those, are, those, are, those were the two that I used back in the day. I don't even think Modio I, I used Modio anymore. I used Modio, Modio back in the day and I've moved to Horizon today. I think Horizon is just like the, Horizon the spiritual still works. successor. Yeah, yeah. You can still download Horizon. It that makes works. sense. And I, I think I ha- I have used it within the last like couple of years to get some files off and uh, rehash and resign program. my rehash yep. and resign my saves for my RGH, yep. which yeah. you can do on the RGH uh, itself. No need no use it. Need to use Oh, I didn't know that. That's actually it. cool as fuck. I didn't know yeah, that. Do I was that doing it old school. I was doing it. Yeah, old you know school. we we keep it OG around here. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, uh, when somebody opened up like a DLC file, they found out it was just like a zip file. It, that's all it was. It's just a little contained folder 
inside of a zip file um, where you would have the song, the internal song name, you would have a chart, you would have the audio, and you would have the metadata for it. Um, and if it was Rock Band 2, it had a couple of extra files, but for Rock Band 3, they, they optimized it so that it was just those three, essentially. Uh, those three files and then album art. Um, and I, I guess it came with a whole bunch of people reverse engineering or just really taking it into their own hands and figuring out the structure and how to make it sign it. But they found an exploit in Rock Band 3 that was actually being used by Harmonix themselves for the Rock Band 1 export um, called Con Files. Mm. And basically, I, I like this is my headcanon. You're conning the Xbox into thinking that it's a uh, marketplace DLC. So that's what it is. It's yeah, not because a marketplace there's two different file. Types of files. There's a con file and a live file. The live yeah. files are like officially signed Xbox Live files you downloaded from the marketplace, but the con files are more of a custom thing. It's actually recognized as a save file. And so Rock Band 3 mm-hmm. reads those save files the same way that it would read a live file, but there was no like check for it back in the day before Title Update 5. So mm-hmm. Title Update 4 and below were able to go online and play customs. But on, while that was cool... Natively, just, unmodded consoles. Yeah, unmodded consoles were just able to have custom songs and package them into these little modified save files, and Rock Band 3 would read them, and it would just work. Now, the problem with that was is that what ended up happening is that people just started pirating the fuck out of all the DLC. Hmm. And yeah. so and the, the story goes... Into a con file. The story yeah. goes is that a title update for Xbox 360 for any game is ten thousand fucking dollars. So they did that. They paid. They shelled out that money. Added some more quality of life stuff to Rock Band 3, um, and potentially broke the game more. I don't know. But if you tried to load those save files, those fake save files, um, then it would say uh, your disc is unreadable. But that wasn't the case. That truly wasn't the case. Uh, it was just, hey, this file's illegal. You're not allowed to. You're, we're kicking you back to the menu, and that's all it did. It didn't ban you, nothing like that. Um, but <laughs> what's funny is that those Rock Band One export files were still working, and it's like, okay, those con files work, but how? And how they worked is fucking bonkers. Okay, it the only thing that lets those things through is the BPM of those songs. Wait, that's what? it. That's, Wait, that's the, how that. That's how that works. That, that is the handshake that the game needs what, huh? in order in order for those songs to be legal. So, in theory, and it was proven, and this is true, if you take a BPM and you just you modify the chart and you modify the audio and the artwork and the metadata, you could just play a custom. On, but the BPM on, remains the but same. The BPM so remains. It's, it's it's legitimate. Fucked. But it's a legit as legit. Now that you bring be. that up, that sounds familiar. That does sound yeah. familiar. People I don't remember who Rockman first songs. figured that out. It may have been Cisco Pikmin Guts. It may have been them. Seems um, like it to me. But it was just a, it was just a theory that people had, and that's how you can get customs on the like latest, the last version of Rock Band Three. But before and then, it, like it it was just like how how we figured out how to do all that. We took all of our knowledge from rock band audition mode and we just kind of tried to apply it when rock band three audition mode came out we noticed a lot of things were different and so we're just like okay how do we get this shit to work and i remember i remember just brute forcing enough because when you compile a song in that magma program it tells you everything that goes wrong oh there's a note at this point in the song that needs to be shortened there's this file there's the loose note right here the audio is bad it's, it's very specific it tells you exactly what to fix and then so like I brute forced it enough and I was like, oh my god, I, I did I converted a Guitar Hero 5 song to Rock Band 3. I'm so hyped. But then the next step was getting it on an unmodded console. And everyone was just like, that's not fucking possible. And they're like, yes, it was. You can use a USB drive. And if you do this, this, and this, um, and you do these this 20 step tutorial, then you can get a single custom song inside of your game. Um, yeah, I watched so, a tutorial by some guy who did exactly that whole process. He told me exactly what to do. I think his name was um, GamerBoy28 at the yep. time. I, I, I made that tutorial because people are visual learners like myself, and I fucking I zoinked out, and I just I wanted to learn how to do it because I knew there was going to be some sort of way that I could just play Rock Band 3 Customs. I didn't want to do Guitar Hero 3 Customs forever. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to do it forever. I was just like, I want to play this on console because – 
since day one, even before like streaming and making content, I was like, man, console just feels great. I would love to play customs on here. It's sure. perfect. It's just absolutely perfect. And so I, I did come hell or high water. I was going to get a custom song inside of my rock band game. And I did before title update five came out. And so I was distributing these customs and I was playing online with people and it was fucking cool. It was really, really cool. And so, little known fact is that you could actually get customs working online if the name of the internal song was a, a numerical. Uh, if it was just like um, Smoke on the Water. If you typed in Smoke on the Water and you guys had those match- matching files, they would not show up online. But I had this song by Arctic Monkeys called 505, and that was the internal name for the song when I built it. Me and my buddy at the time had that song, and we're like, why does that sh- song show up online? I was like, it's numbers, isn't it? And so I fucked around, and then I just re- I just spammed like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Or 1, 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. And I was like, no way this actually works. And so it had to be numerical in some form, but it, that's that's how it worked. I don't know that's how crazy. it is now because... Wired. Yeah. I didn't Weird. know, but that's, that's, that's crazy. And it also created, it spawned its own leaderboards with that 505 song. Yeah. It spawned its own leaderboards, and so there's a couple people that are on that leaderboard for 505, and that custom. Yeah, that, that's the opposite of the day in Rock Band 3, just yeah. for customs in general. Like, if you play a custom online, it will just make a leaderboard for it yep. dynamically. So sick. So they yeah. future-proofed it from the beginning, and so now really did. with, like, Ash Central... And and all that stuff. There's custom Rock Band three servers out there that have their own leaderboards and all this stuff. And you could just like spawn new leaderboards for every song that you put on there. And people like still share their own packs of customs and stuff all in the Milo Hacks Discord. It's really cool. And yeah, technology like the whole Rock Band three scene has just been booming last That's like so couple cool. couple of years. Because I also wanted to pivot off of Rock Band three customs to talk about all the insane stuff that JNAC has been doing for Rock Band three deluxe. There's now personal best pop-ups. They have the Yarg difficulty rings that pop up in the song and inside of the game. Um, it's just getting better and better for Rock Band 3 enjoyers out there. It's like becoming that game um, you know, to pick up and play if you're just trying to you know, experience these games optimally. Most likely. It, it's it's a know? whole new way to play the game and it's really cool. Like back when the deluxe projects like were first I was going to say incepted, but that's not a real, that's not a word. I guess conceived. Be, conceived. Uh, when, when, they, when, when, they, when they began, like, you know, 2021, the, the whole idea of the deluxe project, like Guitar Hero 2 Deluxe, was just to make a couple of quality life features for Guitar Hero 2, you know, just make it slightly better, you know, make it easier to play the bass charts rather than having to play it in, in practice, you know, do a couple of small things. The, the whole ethos of the deluxe stuff has just gone off the rails. It is no longer just you know, the, basically the same game, but a few, few nice things added. You know, it's just a think... whole new thing, and I like that a lot. I think, like, even though you mentioned, like, oh, yeah, just being able to play the bass songs and stuff, I remember Janak was saying, yeah, we had to rewrite the whole quick play, like, song flow menu flow. Oh, yeah. We had to rewrite yeah. the whole not, thing. And I was to... like, I think from the beginning, like, they had the idea of completely, you know, making a whole fan expansion to the game. But, yeah, you're yeah, absolutely not, not right. Not to diminish anything. But, no, absolutely. But no, early no, no, on, it was, and, it, like, I mean, the first Deluxe, Guitar Deluxe, was built within, like, two months. It, it was very Yeah, cool. exactly. Right. I think and it now, came out in May of 2021, and that was like after we got debugged. Bro, that's three in, years in ago, March 2021. Yeah, that's three years ago. I think in a couple yeah. of days it'll be three years since the first release wow. of a deluxe game. Probably, actually, yeah. When was the in first GH2 days, deluxe? It had to have been uh, like that's probably May not even there anymore. I, I actually no, I, I I can figure this out. I uploaded a video. I think we all uploaded a video to to um, Guitar Hero well, 2 by, deluxe. By we all, I mean me and Asai. Uh, Star May twenty fourth, twenty twenty one. Does that sound right? I didn't put one out for the first video for sure. For the first selects, it, it was May. It, it was May twenty something, twenty twenty one. Oh no, May seventeenth. It's already been. Oh, thirteenth. Okay, there you go. So well, it's been three hmm. years. Three years. I see. I see a launch trailer from May seventeenth. Okay, yeah, that, may, that that that's right then because I uploaded a video of Trogdor Rhythm on Guitar Two Deluxe, but in the in the in the description I say coming soon TM. So that was still pre release. The trailer, yeah, I would, I would say the trailer's release. But, well, yeah, I mean, te- teaser trailer. I don't know. It's been three. That years. just that just goes to show, man. It's like the deluxe stuff has never stopped, and I think Guitar Hero Two Deluxe got like a whole like facelift the beginning of twenty twenty three, late twenty twenty two. The whole three sixty thing, the whole three sixty build for it was just. <laughs> it's so funny because like 
back in the day when, when they were only doing Guitar Tree Deluxe on PS2, people were like, well, what about when are you going to do this on 360? It'd be so cool. Jay Knack was like, like never, never. Never. Can't do it. Can't do but it on then 360. It's, more fe- it's actually kind of more feature-rich than the, the PS2 version. Yeah, they, they have to work backwards they to, 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 to make They backported the 360 parody. stuff to, to PS2 shortly yeah. after, and so Somehow, everybody wins. I, I, Everybody I don't remember wins, the, the sequence right? of events and why it all shifted to Xbox, just probably because there's more system resources and it would be easier. But the development side of things was probably harder on 360 because on PS2 there was a debug build. So it tell yeah, you exactly PS2 what, did what not have debug, where. so I don't know what JNAG did. Xbox didn't have remember. debug. X, Xbox did not have debug. PS2 still don't have it. Yeah, still don't have. Yeah, anybody, anybody have an Xbox dev kit out there? Podcast at gmail.com. Yeah. Let Please us know. let us know. But yeah, I mean, you know, the deluxe projects, awesome. It's just aw- straight up awesome stuff. With we'll play a show, and now all these new like little quality of life display options, and the personal best thing for score grinders. That's really fucking sick. Rock Band Loved Four it. Deluxe is picking up even more now. Yeah. Hell yeah! Um, shout out to Lizix for uh, your work on that, bro. You've um, been on that on that thing for been years. On that, been on that motherfucker. Grinding. Line. Seriously. Rock Band 4 Deluxe ain't new. It's been a thing. It's just not it a lot just of It just got better recently. It. it got yeah. way better recently. With, with the advent of the 11.0 jailbreak on PS4, a whole lot more people are going to be able to have access to it now. So that's, that's And people cool. probably, who who are still like console heads, are probably still, you know, they still have that PS4 in the closet. They yeah, still, because now you're, you're really at a point where version. if you have a PS4 in the closet you haven't touched in a few months, it's probably jailbreakable. It's jailbreakable. Exactly. It's awesome. It's Speaking of very, jailbreaks, very awesome. Does they um, charge still? No, nah, rip. I let it die. I'll have to re jailbreak it. But I did get my iPhone 5 for my parents. Oh, house. let's go. Nice. I got, I got my iPad mini. I've been trying I, to. Uh, I jailbroke it suffering too. So. Through. Nice. I've been suffering through that slow ass fucking iPad. That shit's slow, dude. It is, yeah, it is so is slow. slow. Yeah. But uh, that's the same iPhone 5 I had, I think, back in, like, 2015 to 16. Yep. The iPhone 5. 16 black one. gigabyte black. Wow. <laughs> I think... Memories. I think, uh, nostalgia. Good yeah, days. 16 gigs, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so I, uh, I must have... I, I definitely wiped it at some point. I was expecting to find a whole bunch of, like, old pictures, but it, it was wiped at some point. Damn. And, uh, so like there's that. nothing on here except for Guitar Hero, Rock Band, you know, and you, Rock Band Unplugged, or whatever the fuck it's called. If Reloaded. for some reason you have it back any of your iPhone backup somewhere. There's like, I have all there's of it. Like, okay, yeah, there's like backup readers that you can get online and then you can just go through all the contents of each of those backups. Messages, photos, notes, I don't need all, all that, that stuff. Shit. I, I just want exactly. photos and, and I have yeah, all photos, my photos backed up. It's not a big deal. Data for uh, where's my water, you know, like... <laughs> <laughs> where's my Angry water? Angry Birds, Fruit Ninja, um, save data, all that good stuff. Oh, I found my iPod as well. Not just the iPhone, the iPod. Still has Flappy Bird on it. Oh, oh, selling for ten grand. The original Flappy Bird. <laughs> don't just make Flappy me, Bird. You'll never get it back. Makes no, me think of the it. tweet when he first put up, "I can't do this anymore." That's almost that's ten years ago. Crazy. <laughs> I yeah. think that was yeah. 2014, wasn't it? No, that, that was, was it was, was like ten years ago. February 2014. So people yeah. were retweeting it, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Somehow oh, this boy, is the second Dong time Nguyen, we've talked bro. about this on the podcast. Dong Nguyen. <laughs> yeah, Dong Nguyen. Oh wow! Oh god! It came out in 2013. Damn. It got removed in 14, yeah. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Going hurts. back to, to Rock Band Customs, we left out a very important part of the whole meta, not meta, the, the whole the whole landscape of Rock Band Customs, and that was the nine years between um, like Rock Band 3 and Fourth. anything else. Yeah. Everything everything to do with um, like C3 Customs and uh, that entire yeah, okay, community. So- there was a very thriving community of Rock Band Custom Makers, mm-hmm. full band. Mm-hmm. Oh god! They That's had like bring trailers. Phase and shift. Sh- they had trailers and shit for all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, phase they shift had stuff this that works. C three C three had this whole rapture announcement, and there they did like Queen's Reich and Electric Light Orchestra nine and ten packs now downloadable for free. And uh, Trojan Nemo also had the C three Con tools that C three Con tools, which is now That's... called Nautilus and is even more useful than ever. Yeah, um, that, that that like we, we we were glazing Onyx before about having a great program. C three Con Trojan tools, Nemo, fantastic like, he, program. He set the fucking he set the fucking bar, dude. You can do everything, like, everything and anything. That whole C three Con tools program, it had everything you needed. It basically took everything that we did for Rock Band Customs in the beginning, having six seven programs to just compile a song and have artwork for it 
and being able to modify the right things that we needed for the game. Um, instead of having like, you know, I don't think it was six, seven programs. I'm being a little hyper. Regardless, it's a lot. It's all in the same. It was program. still like two, three programs. That's like way more than you needed. Right. But all within C3 consoles, there's everything there. You can convert to PS3. You can actually get more stuff if you're throwing a rock band party. You can actually create like a curated set list with all difficulties and what instrument parts you have. And you could put it into a fucking Google Sheet and print it out. And so you could put it in a binder so that you can use rock band at a party. Or, That's uh, pretty cool. Or, you know, yeah. a bar that does rock band nights. It's like, okay, hey, you can go you can go over here. You know how, like, how places have karaoke books and you can go mm-hmm. sort through that. You can do that for rock band. C3 Contools did that or Nautilus did that and still so does to this day. Sick. It's so fucking really cool. cool. I, I want to say that's also um, partially because of the DLC Quick Play website or, or Rock Band Aid. Yeah, probably. I don't know. Oh, rock Band Aid. Rock Band Aid was the blog Dude. talking about it. I think that was also in partnership, not partnership, or maybe DLC Quick Play was something else completely. But yeah, no, it has it. It has that type of thing. You can convert artwork in that program. You can, you know, you can set up the stems a certain way so that if you wanted to make a preview for your custom, you could do all that in C three Contools. It was just awesome. And you wanted to make a pack of songs great. too. You'll make a pack of songs inside of there. So if you have multiple that you downloaded, singular tracks, you just throw it in. And that's Which is it. the move nowadays, by the way. Which is the you, move because it takes if, less If you time put a whole bunch of tracks into one DLC file, it loads way faster because you're only loading one file instead of loading a thousand files. Or you won't feel yep. a thousand, but a few hundred files. So if you if you go on the meets, if you, are, if you all are familiar with your local Arby's, you can go there and download some, so, I mean, order some Rock Band DLC. I mean, order some sandwiches. Mer- some merged and, pack and you can, meals. Uh, of, you uh, could get you could either but you could either get each individual fry, or you could get a large fry, uh, and the large fry. Um, you, you might think that it would take you longer to eat the large fry. No, it would. In fact, if you eat the large fry, it, you just it's it's eaten up. But if you eat if you eat <laughs> yeah, all what do the you think about that, JP? The large fry, you hungry? <laughs> you hungry over there? JP can't eat with the Ferris curse, for a man. Bit. No fries, no fries oh. for JP. No, oh, that no, sounds no. terrible, bro. Hope you feel, hope you feel better. Hope, hopefully, yeah, better. Better. Uh, yeah. Just don't fuck around with the pyramids anymore. They probably didn't like that. Don't take the lid wow, off. Wow, 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 wow. I do it. Yeah, but anyways, merch packs. Uh, that's big. I was gonna say something. Oh yeah, C three con tools or no no C three like the forum. Uh, that was like the place for customs up until yes. Clone Hero came around. That's where customs were at. Like especially if you're playing on like Phase Shift. If you're doing drum customs, that's where they were. Everything was on C3. It was way was better than thousands. cruising the frets on fire. The frets on fire website, tune posting, man, Ugh. fuck that area, dude. <laughs> There's Ugh. nothing going on. Or it was just so hard to find the things that you wanted. Um, I feel so, like for a little yeah. bit, the C3 side of things got a bad rap because like all oh, the quality control isn't. It? But we got to be honest. There was a lot of sure. There were some charts that weren't great on there. So, yeah. But, okay. So but yeah, no, there were a there lot. Was, it was separated by two sections. A lot sections. of fantastic stuff. It was separated by two sections back in the day. There's like the like official C3 people. Yeah, there was like a curated was, section, and there was just like there Wild just West. Like Wild West. Everybody. Wild, Wild West. And you know, now, now that we're talking about the Customs Creators Collective website, it's now rebranded, and it's been remade into something called Rhythmverse. Rhythmverse.co, yes. and it indexes from Chorus as well. So all the songs that you get from Chorus, and I think Chorus Encore, I don't even know if that's still a thing. Um, it indexes from chorus, so like all those songs that you look at from there, it's a really clean interface, and it in- also includes rock band songs. So if you're a Yarg player, this place is heaven. Rhythmverse.co, it's amazing. Uh, hey, Yarg does to, use con files natively. You go to the website, you go to Rhythmverse, and you hit find content, and they have so many things there for so many instruments, full band, single, single player, um, you know, just some like co-op stuff. But they got stuff for everything. From Clone Hero to Yarg to Rock Band 3 on every single system you can play it on. Phase it Shift, Rock Band impressive. 2, and like Guitar Hero World Tour Definitive Edition. And At the time it says of coming posting. soon, coming soon, Guitar Hero 3 PC because there's, <laughs> uh, there's, I think Addy Mills is actually working on like tools to get the lip sync and animations. Stuff and animations being ported over. No, That's Onyx can actually. 
what? Yeah. Look at all the look at all the files that are there. Hundred. Yeah. When you when you click on find content, it loads for a bit, but then one hundred and twenty thousand eight hundred eighty four different songs that you can download on this one website, bro. What the fudge? Now that's also not to mention that there are duplicates. Uh, yeah, of course, well, not know, individual multiple, songs, but not in charts. Songs, but that's still charts. We're in no shortage of custom content well, for these games. I mean, no technically not really whatsoever. charts. A lot of these have, you know, um, four instruments. So there's four different charts there. Some of them are full full difficulties. So really, that's like 16 charts. So there's like yeah. over a million charts on this on this uh, site for sure. This is content forever, you know? Yeah, you'll never play, play all this. And yeah, see, this, this is if the... You, if you want stuff to do, there's stuff to do. And this is also the thing that people, you know, they, they look at and they're like, why do we need a new Guitar Hero game? And I, you know, I agreed for a bit. It's like, yeah, we have all these custom stuff and all that. But I also have always missed the feeling of having an official set list to look forward to. Something that, will, you know, kind of mirrors our experience. We've been waiting for songs every single week, right? We did that with the rock band, the Guitar Hero Days, too. One word. DLC. Curation. Literally. It's, right? it's instead of, okay, if anybody has ever gone on Clone Hero or Yarg, and had the feeling of, oh, I don't know what I want to play. That's a problem, right? Whereas if with Festival we're getting new songs weekly and there's always featured stuff. Because, hey, there's going to be people who don't buy songs. There are. But right now they're loading up and they're still getting 20 free songs daily on Festival. Uh, that's a really interesting plan going forward for them. Because, hey, no matter what, you're always going to get different things each day. There's going to be new people coming through. There's going to be people who didn't play in season one. And guess what? They can go back to Fall Out Boy or Katie Tunstall or whatever the hell from season one um, and play it. Right? You know what's insane, That's cool. It's like I don't know what it's like to play the game as a completely true free-to-play player. Yeah, we're, we're, we're fortunate. Yeah, we are all we are all very week. fortunate that we have everything you know, given to us. I already take for granted. I already take for granted when I open the menu and I see all these songs. I'm like, holy shit! Where where are the songs? One, fix the menu. Um, make it rock band. More two. sorting options. More yes! sorting options, please. Um, but having a search there is already really nice, and I guess the search. Uh, huh. But like, <clears throat> um, I was saying, man, like, you know, I already opened up the game and I'm just like, shit. A lot of songs. We have a lot of songs in the game already, but I'm just kind of looking for the six that we were playing through the, that week, right? So, yeah, definitely yeah. some like taken for granted. But then, as a true free to play player, you know, you'd be able to see all. Who knows we're gonna, what we're going to see on the first anniversary of the game? Always, you know. Dude, I, I how wild would it be if they, if they just put everything out there? Every single yeah, song available in the game for the for the one year anniversary. That one day you have access to. Ooh, how cool! Ooh, twenty forty hour stream. Let's go. <laughs> 40 that'd be probably 40 hours stream 40 hours that'd be a long ass fucking stream I mean, play through at that point probably like 500 for songs, every miss 600 songs we are it's gonna, be, at, it's gonna be three days as of right now after the three billy eilish songs we're at 176 i think something like that that's gotta be there. more than 170 right it's 170 something i don't know the the exact but Bruh. Really quick, That's really a, quick, I think. Compared it's a lot of to, content. Yeah. Okay. December 9th, we got 40 plus songs. It was like 42. Something like that. It was 41, 42. I think it was, think it was 32. Wasn't it in the 40s? Maybe somewhere in there. Well, mm, if you include the Battle Pass songs, I think there Either was like way. 30. It, yeah, regardless. Somewhere, regardless. Like somewhere, somewhere in there. there. But if that's the case, we already have like five times more songs and it's been five months. That's, yeah, that's a lot. Pretty pretty nuts. It's a lot. Like just the available content, regardless of what's available to play free to play each day. If you bought songs, there's a lot of choices. If you unlocked things from battle passes, side note, we still need to know if any of those battle pass songs are coming back to buy in the future, because otherwise that's gonna suck. I don't like it. I yeah. don't want it. I want people to be able to buy You Don't Know Me or Return of the Tiger or any well, of those fucking Butter Barn, dude. Butter Barn. No, come on Butter down. Barn is important, dude. That's that's an yeah. important ass song. Yeah, and don't even come out with that whole song. FOMO shit. Like, oh, what's the point of even buying the battle pass if other people can buy them later? I, the only reason I bought the battle pass is for these songs. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck Cosmetics, yourself. Don't lock people out of content. Cosmetics, one thing. Even then, that's a different argument. But we we can have that a different yeah. day. Gameplay, bro. Nobody no. should be locked yeah. out of gameplay. No, total, no. Total no. songs in festivals, one hundred eighty-one. One hundred eighty-one. Stop. Damn. 
Okay, that's a lot. 181, I believe. There's yeah. no way. Over 180 already? Yeah. I just, I, I was able to pull it right now. Oh, so I know what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. For those who know, no. Uh, oh. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking songs. about. I have no idea what you're talking about. What are you talking yeah, about? What? It says grab, do grab I? data you don't from have to 181 know. songs. That's a lot, dude. Seriously. What the that is, There's no that way. That is a whole lot. I don't know. In, in, that's just, a pretty, five, pretty reliable, in just five months, say. man. In just five fucking months, that's a lot. Um, Just starting yeah, off from, I mean, what, 31? Uh, you know what I was seeing the other day? I saw the original set list for the game. And just the way that that picture is is cursed as fuck. Actually, it's what do you mean? so cursed. What do you mean by that? Um, hold on, let, let me let me pull it up really quick. <laughs> While you do that, just... I think I think we're outpacing Rock Band One in terms of like song output. I feel like we're getting more songs Look, quicker that's so and cursed, than we right? do with Rock Band One. Oh, with just a shit ton oh, of songs on one page. Yeah, remember that seeing, looks so weird. Remember the day that this list came out and we're like, holy shit, holy shit. Here's the songs, man. Yo, but, they got actually they actually got fucking Queens of the Stone Age in this game. That's crazy. Yeah. Yep. We've yet to see any more Queens of the Stone Age or any Who who else are we uh, and we haven't any seen more any more Weezer? killers. We need to see more Kendrick. We need to see more Greta Van Fleet. Do you know what's really funny? Looking back at this now, just looking back at this graphic with the information we have now, it's really weird that they put the songs that were in the first festival pass on the list. That is weird. They did, isn't yeah. it? Poison, they couldn't say. They probably couldn't style. say that. Yeah, they probably yeah. couldn't say that. Hey, we're offering a battle pass, and you can't get some of these without it. I yeah. wonder if it was like a last second type thing, you know. But in the uh, future, after this, anytime they mention a battle pass song on these, they put a lock, lock on there. A lock and on I there. Wonder, oh. I wonder if that's a change that happened because people like got mad or anything. It's just it's looking back now with the information we have retrospectively, like it looks weird. I mean, I'd be sense. mad if I saw. Um, Do we see? Yeah, I'd be mad if I saw Gangnam Style and this la- in the last month was the la- only time that I was able to just buy that song. Yeah, because where was it before? I, I got it says it's right yeah. on the list right here. I've never seen it. Oh, it was in the Festival Pass. I missed out on buying the Festival Pass because I got sorry about the game later. Now I can never play the song. Oh, that's lame. We don't want that. Uh, one thing that I did realize, though, um, the three uh, festival icons that we've had so far, The Weeknd, Lady Gaga, Billie Eilish, all represented here in the launch songs. Just saying. That is true. Lots weekend, of, of weekend, course, obviously, it, because it's Hughes season one. Lady Gaga, of course, and, Billie Lady Gaga and Billie Eilish. Lady Gaga and Billie Eilish. All three Just of those saying. artists are also distributed by you know what this, UMG. And you know what that means? Imagine Dragons for season four. Yes! You're making so me a excited. believer. Mm. JP, what do you think about that? Are you happy about that? Sounds like he's pretty happy. Bro, I don't know. I didn't expect that from you. That's a bold take. I wouldn't say that. I didn't like Imagine Dragons so much, man. That's crazy. JP. You get a flame for that one down in the comments. He's the biggest Imagine Dragons fan. You hear this guy? He's just glazing right now. He actually just... You gotta stop, bro. You, dude, you can say it. You did it with your eyes closed. All right, get out of here. All right? (laughs) Bro, you gotta calm down, son. Calm down. Hope you feel better soon. That must be the Pharaoh's curse kid to your brain, bro. That does not sound like you. <laughs> I think it's a good place to end it. I'm just so <laughs> yeah, <real. laughs> I just call it there. That was a good little yap. We got, got, got through the history of the rock band customs. See, yeah, as, cool. as messy as this episode kind of was, it's okay. It's all over the place. It's all right. It's, it's all, fine. It's already that, fine. That, that, you know, that's why they like it. That's why they like the, the, the podcast. It's because we're just chatting. We're just talking. Yeah. It's just a bunch of dudes being guys. We, we like us some plastic guitar. And a drunk. little too much. Little yeah, too probably, much. to be honest. It's not even a probably. It's a yes. It is too yeah, much. Yeah, we do. Any normal, any normal person looking in is like, Jesus, with a bunch of losers. Who cares about the <laughs> demo disc? Man. This it's Fortnite so funny. shit, um, this shit's gay as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. Damn right. All right. Uh, episode 32 out. See you. Bye-bye. See you next week. Bye-bye. JP, JP is returning. Hopefully. JP, say bye. That was rude. <laughs> Are you gonna say it, bro? Okay, guess not. See ya. Bye, guys. Bye.